The Blue Wall and Sun Belt Strategies, Harris and Trump's Pathways to Win. Vice President Kamala Harris is almost certain to be able to win White House by sweeping the Blue Wall states of Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin, even without taking any states in the Sun Belt where she has been gaining ground on former President Donald Trump. Um, what do you all think about that? Trump, okay, let me adjust this. Trump very likely needs at least two of the four big battleground states to win, but he could achieve victory with the three biggest put prizes on the swing state map. Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia, while losing the rest to Harris. The Harris and Trump campaigns different pathways to achieving the 270 electoral college votes needed for victory in November are beginning to take shape. As the traditional general election season gets underway after Labor Day, because Harris starts with slightly more electoral college votes that are seen as completely secure than Trump, she has a greater variety of pathways to get to a total of 270. But a Newsweek analysis of the electoral college map and interviews with pollsters and strategists from both parties shows an extremely close race that could easily go either way with just three weeks left before early voting. Early voting. The state of the race has shifted dramatically from mid-July when Trump was pulling ahead of President Joe Biden in polls in all seven ba battlegrounds after surviving an assassination attempt and rallying supporters at the Republican convention in Milwaukee. Now, Harris enters the fall campaign period leading Trump by an average of 2 percent points in the seven key background states that will determine the winner. According to a Bloomberg News Morning Consult poll research August 29, the margin of error was a plus or minus on percentage point across all the states. We've gone from a situation where Trump had very clear path to a substantial electoral college majority to now one where truly it's a toss-up, said Charles Franklin, director of Marketing Law School Pool in Wisconsin. Electoral College Advantage Harris has risen steadily in the pools since she replaced Biden as the Democratic presidential nominee after he dropped out of the race in late July. Harris can reasonably rely on winning 226 electoral college votes if all of the safe and likely blue states and the congressional districts in Maine and Nebraska that award electoral college votes to the popular vote winner remain in the Democrats' column that would leave Harris needing 44 electoral college votes to capture the presidency. Trump starts off with 219 reliable electoral college votes from safe and likely Republican states and congressional districts, meaning he needs 51 electoral college votes to win a second team in the White House. Up for grab, er, up for grabs are the combined 93 electoral college votes in the seven battleground contests. The states with the tightest polling margins in the country and the ones both campaign view as the most likely to flip one way or the other. The battlegrounds can be grouped in two categories by the number of electoral college votes. The larger group consists of Pennsylvania 19, Georgia 16, North Carolina 16, Michigan 15. The small, smaller group is made of Arizona 11, Wisconsin 10, and Nevada 6. 
in 2020 election, Biden won six of those seven swing states, reversing Trump's 2016 pickup of Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin, and flipping two longtime Republican states blue with surprise wins Georgia and Arizona. The only battleground he losses were North was North Carolina. A similar showing by Harris would lead to victory, but Harris doesn't have to do nearly as well as Biden did in 2020 to win. Thanks to her slight head start over Trump and likely electoral college votes. What Harris has done by replacing Biden is open up at least five or six states, said Julian Zleser, a historian at Princeton University. It's a much broader electoral college map. Okay, this article is very biased. In, a, in addiction to holding the blue wall states of the Great Lakes region, Harris has multiple other ways to win by only carrying three of the seven contested swing states. Contested swing states. They include winning any three of the big four battlegrounds or by combining any two of the big four and any two of the smaller battlegrounds. Smaller, smaller battlegrounds. The flexibility means Harris does not have to win a majority of the battleground states or dominate in any region, region to secure a victory. He also it also gives Harris multiple pathways to win without carrying Pennsylvania, the state with the biggest electoral college vote total among the seven key swing states. I'm tired today. Sorry, folks. If you want to read a full article, go to the website.